Hi guys. Welcome to what we're going to do today at my workbench. Uh, today we're soldering wires on to a 3528 LED strip sectioned off from a 5 meter wheel. Um, if you follow these couple steps you can really save a lot of money uh, and possibly even resell them at great profits because uh, we all know how much they cost if you've looked for them yourself. So uh, this is why they charge so much. It's just a process. Follow this process I will show you and you can either make money yourself or have some of the best looking lights in your best looking projects so on and so forth. So without further ado this is what we're going to do. We, we trim very little, very little off of that. Then I take my fingers, peel to the side the one wire pinch harder, push the other side over. So now the wires are split like that. You don't need to cut the wires down the middle because that's unnecessary um, unnecessary slack and it just starts to look odd. Okay, make sure that you have your stripe showing on positive. If you don't know where it is, keep leads near you. Okay, and you can test the leads on which ones they are. But this strip is actually marked, so I'm not complaining about it. I'm going to go according to the rig. Uh, way down the wire. Not necessarily, there's nothing, plus you can adjust the location of the strip so the two wires are touching whatever kind of uh, terminals they may be, whether they're solid, two dots. There's a, they come up with a lot of different ways to expose their circuits to be sectioned off and, and soldered. Okay? Now, uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to make soldering tips because I hand make my own. And you're probably like, where's the flux? I don't need flux because what I do is uh, these strips actually have a coating of flux on it. And you'll see it boil up and smoke and all that good stuff. And I make my own soldering tips of pure copper. But that's for another video. Uh, the link to that video will be in the description below. So we just touch, 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 touch. Simple. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. Always wiggle your connection. Woohoo! Wiggle. You got to do that to make sure that you're in there solid. Uh, normally, strips aren't getting really beat around, so they don't. That's su sufficient. Okay. Uh, we usually use about a one centimeter, two centimeter. Okay, let's check it out. One centimeter shrink wrap section, cover the terminals up to the LED. Uh, you can use a heat gun. I prefer fire because, uh, especially with this, this is a very, very accurate, very quick, very uh, non-abrasive, <laughs> if you will. Um, and I do it bounce back and forth. Seems like you're using a lot of fuel, but you're not. I'm actually a lot smoother with that on camera. So, and then, good old fashioned, huge fingernail clippers, and for the 3528, small fingernail clippers are fine. You will notice uh, that there's a little written box around each LED for the pick and place machine to put the LEDs on the machine. You can clip all the way up to that point. Do not pass that point get too close to that LED, you could cause damage. Just a forewarning, depending on who produced the strips, there is a such thing as a clip sensitive strip. That means when you go to clip it and make it look all nice and professional, uh, that you would kill the strip. All right, so every once in a while you're gonna have to do a test to see if said strips are trim sensitive or not. They, either they are or they're not. Um, these are blue, so on and so forth. Uh, I can't give you an example right now. Maybe I will in another video. Um, but then, well, like I said, see how it's got a curl? That curl can go in any, any direction by just twisting, not twisting, but sliding the wire off your fingers. Just like that, in any direction. And uh, worst you'll do is you'll get a little bit of space down there because you're exercising the wire a little bit. Once again, just clip off the end, get it all nice and pretty. And um, 
they come in static packages, but I have not met one strip yet screw up because of static electricity, so on and so forth. I'm not doubting that it would or disclaiming that, oh, you're free of the worry, but it just doesn't do that to me. Maybe I'm just in a pretty static free environment, or I'm getting good strips, which I wouldn't doubt either. All right, little, little test. Of course, negative has to be on to be on positive and I wasn't paying attention there. All right, there we go. Green. Green strip ready to go. Okay. Now, if you're selling to a customer, all the customer has to do is think about putting the striped on positive, the uh, non-striped on negative being ground to chassis. Um, let's see if I can get a good picture of that for you. You can see how it's good. Um, let's see. Do I want to... Okay, since I have enough, um, what customers will do, oh, just tuck in your adhesive. There's no reason to have it on the outside or put the adhesive on the actual uh, shrink wrap itself to, oh, to provide better, no, you're just going to offset stuff. So just go ahead and that, and the customer can pull it out like that, and literally, you know, do whatever they're going to do for that. This be my personal strip because I don't handle my customers' items. And I had enough for the one order that I had produced today. I only had an order. I've been cutting down so I could do some videos. Uh, coolest tool in the world. It will save your life. Where to find it? I don't know. I bought the, I saw them in a Menards, which is uh, one of our local stores. And I uh, bought all of them. <laughs> I think I saw them in Walmart once. And if they sold out, I'm pretty sure they never bought them again. Because I have not seen them there since. And if I ever see these items, because they don't last forever. They, they last a very long time. But they do the job perfectly. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mass produce. We're going to do 10. We're going to do 10 real quick. Just get it out the way. And you'll notice that I have my shrink wrap cut ahead of time. Got my fuel fueled up. These, I have like little sections over here where I keep my little guns. I have a, I modified a wire hanger uh, with a loop that holds the tip uh, for my uh, soldering iron. I do that so I can throw it in there. Because once you see me get into this, you will notice that I can do this quick. It's a catch. I mean, that's a... I don't know how many degrees that thing is, but I wouldn't want that flopping onto my desk or the plastic stuff next to it, so on and so forth, because I know it makes plastic nasty. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... stuff ahead of time, have it all ready to go. See these right here? It's like, oh, the customers, you, you never buy anything that has crooked wires on it. Like you go find uh, something at AutoZone or you find something at Advanced Auto Parts. You don't see any messed up wires. Well, they have a machine that does this. Or they use the ultra soft conductive coating wire type wire. Now this is seriously rugged wire. I've used this for 110 applications. Um, a lot of neat stuff. So, But what we're going to do, and, and uh, a couple cool tips. Like I said, don't move this. You're going to weigh down the wire. But see how this is curved over? You do want to curve over. You don't want to curve up. See how it's not curved up? You don't want to curve up because then you're not going to lay down on those terminals the proper way. You want to go ahead and press. Go snip. Now I'm talking like literally a millimeter. A millimeter is almost too much. You just want a little bit going. That is unless you have really huge uh, and you do the longer strips. Because there's a couple different sections of these. Or um, a couple different styles of six LED strips. One, of, this is off of a 600 per 
five meter wheel, and they also make the 300 LED per five meter wheel. And those, uh, every six LEDs is approximately four inches. Now this is, I think about two inches, two and a quarter, I think I had it listed at. Um, there's a lot of neat places you can resell this, okay? You want to make money at home? Here you go. You retired? Huh, here you go. Well, mind you, this is tedious. I'm doing 10. Oh my god, that's not shit. It's nothing. Yeah. Sell your orders in orders of 10 and have 200 orders. That's when you start thinking about how can you design a machine. <laughs> but, I do it. That's what I do. Everything I make is by hand. I don't care. I like what I do. This relieves stress for me. And, uh, okay, if you two things. If you choose fire, keep that fire moving. You stop for one second. Oh, if you stop for a millisecond, stop completely. Like, shh. Um, it's over. You send your item. You smell plastic. You smell... Um, copper. You destroyed the image, perfection of the item you're working on. Not necessarily so much made it unfunctional, but the idea here is to create an item that was machine made, but it wasn't. You know exactly the quality of every single strip. I tested this the, the main strip before. See not see how things are moving along now. Uh, I tested the main strip before I uh, took it into sections. I tested the wheel initially. Um, for trim sensitivity and. So I determined that it's not trim sensitive, and I determined that every little section of the wheel is okay. Now if there's a little flaw, which it happens because you're dealing with liquid metal, if you have a little flaw in here, like it wants to brace, but it's only like a, a hair, you don't want to risk it. Just go ahead and trim it off. Take this thing, do the thing. You can make these smaller. Don't be scared to clip your solder edges. Keep it nice, keep it professional, you know, keep it really nice. Do it for yourself, then sell it, because then you're selling something you'd buy yourself. But, um, but since I tested these items, and I know that they're solid and they're ready to roll, I don't have to do post modification testing. These items work, guaranteed. And, uh, the wire approximately costs, here's a little fun fact while I'm working, the wire approximately costs $4.88 for 100 feet. Divide that by 6 inches, and then you have your unit price for those wires. The shrink wrap costs $1.99 at Harbor Freight. Love that store. And I know it's nationwide. And you can order online. At Harbor Freight for $1.99 for 8 feet. Take 8 feet and divide that by 1 centimeter. That's your unit price for the shrink wrap. I pause while I'm working because there's points that I pay attention to in each strip because just because I'm making a video is not going to, uh, I'm not going to allow any flaw in my items. Refuse. So you've got the wire unit price, you have the shrink wrap unit price, solder, as I quoted before. It's like literally $1.78 plus tax and if you know somebody who works at Walmart, you get a 10% discount, da da da. Um, and I forget how much exactly 
you get of solder. That's a decent little package of solder. Okay, this is this at uh, Radio Shack would be six bucks. Six dollars. Okay, yeah, but I pay a dollar seventy-eight. Um, stinks a little, but it's you know what solder does, and I you know like I said, there is flex in it. I think so, or this wouldn't be working out as well as it does. So I I think that's a I'm pretty sure that's a pretty nice, and I do think there's a silver content in it. But you just got to go to go and check it out. So then that's three items mentioned: wire, shrink wrap, solder, um, soldering iron. This is four dollars. Four dollars on sale. Harbor Freight Tools again. Uh, tips. You can get a tip at Rail Shack for three dollars. Okay. Three or four, four dollars, four and a half, then tax uh, for one tip. I'm going to make a video and show you how to make these tips for under three cents, four cents a piece. I'm not kidding you. You will die and you will never buy a tip again, ever, ever. And you will, oh my God, you can use this thing to death. And, and what's another fun fact? I've used uh, this exact soldering iron for seven months now, and I run it for approximately five hours a day. Uh, heavy use. That's decent. I think I just replaced one recently because I just changed the wiring around, and uh, I just recently moved to a beautiful neighborhood. Um, and I think just, you know, moving the wires around, so the other one took a, took a crap. Alright, now if I wasn't talking to a video, 